Earlier today, uh, the Albuquerque Police Department SWAT team uh, took Solomon Pena into custody uh, in reference to these shootings, and uh, it is believed that he is uh, the mastermind that was uh, behind this and that was organizing this. Uh, this is a story about uh, partnerships, working together, utilizing technology that got us the results uh, that we needed in order to clear this case. Uh, we talked about it last week. Uh, one subject had been taken into custody. Uh, that subject was taken into custody approximately one hour after the shooting at uh, uh, Senator Lopez's home. It was unknown that this individual was involved uh, in any type of crime. Uh, Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy pulled the individual over, took him into custody, and tagged a firearm into custody. And I, that's where the technology and the advancements and our partnership with uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearm, ATF, come into play. Uh, it was within days that we got a hit that uh, that firearm recovered that day matched the firearm that was uh, used in the Lopez shooting. I also want to thank the field officer who quickly put those shell casings that they found on the street into an evidence bag, tagged it in, and got it to the evidence lab that enabled us uh, to move forward. Uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks, the investigation went forward. Very grateful that we were able to uh, get this individual into custody and that we were able to hopefully bring a little bit of uh, relief uh, to those that were affected and all of our lawmakers especially with uh, the state legislature.